Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control a servo using a potentiometer and Arduino. As you can see here on this side, it shows the value. The first value is the value for potentiometer. The second one is the angle of the servo. So when I rotate it to the right, as you can see, it's reading 149 and the, the angle is 26 degrees. So when I reach to the full maximum to the right, the angle is 180 and we are reading 180. So it, it moves between 0 and 180. You can get the code for this project by clicking on the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. Explaining now the wiring, this is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and the potentiometer has three pins here, one, two and three. So the middle one is the variable value. The two side you will connect it to five volts and to the ground. Doesn't matter which way, but the way that you connect this to five and zero will determine the rotation direction. For example, right now, if I rotate it clockwise, the value increases and decreases. But if you swap the connections, it will be reversed. But doesn't matter. But make sure that the middle one from here goes to pen analog zero. That's the middle one. These two other wires, so I'm removing this. So these two other wires, as you can see it here, the left one, the black one, is connected to 5 volts and the red is connected to the ground. So you can swap those to change the direction of rotation of this. The servo has three wires here and the darker wire is always the ground. So from here we have a ground here connected to the ground pin and then the middle one is 5 volts. So this has been connected to the 5 volts here. This sends the signal to control the servo. And this is connected to pin 9. So the signal comes from here. These two pins are for powering uh, the servo. And the servo, you can get different type of servo, different uh, size of the servo. This is plastic gear. You can get metal gear and also heavier, bigger. But this piece can be just removed and you can put it so you can control with this servo some LEDs, door, uh, fly airplane, and uh, in robotic cars you can use it as a steering to steer the mm, tires, uh, the, your car to the left and right. Let me explain now the code. To get to open the code uh, in your Arduino, just click File, Examples, and then under the servo, click knob. And this is the file that you are getting. I've just up updated with a little extra stuff that m make it work. And also it prints some information here that's extra. So let me explain that. This line shows including the servo.h, that's a header file. You don't need to download and install it from anywhere. This includes with your uh, Arduino IDE and then after that we are initiating initializing an object name call it my servo with a type servo and then analog zero is the pen that is reading the potentiometer and then integer val this is the internal value that needs for the calculation inside the setup from here to here we are just initializing with 9600 baht the screen and that 96 is this value on this side it must match otherwise you will not be able to read this value and then that object that has been created servo.attach will attach pen 9 of digital so we are using the pen 9 as I showed you will be connected to servo inside the loop from here to here uh, pot pen which is potentiometer pen this is a pen a0 so we are reading a0, it says analog read, and the value will be stored in the val variable. So now this will have the value which will be from 0 to 1023. So we have 1024 steps. And then this is printing it here, as you can read here, 173. And this line 
is printing a little space, that space between this value, and then we get that value, the map, job of the map is to get the value, the f this value, which is from between 0 and 1023, and then map it or calculate it or convert it between 0 and 180. So 0 will be 0, 1023, which is the maximum value, will be 180, and the other values are in between proportionally and the calculation will be done here and the result will be stored in the val here again so that value now changes and then here my server dot write will write this value we put we put the value here if you put 50 so this will write the 50 if you write 30 whatever but we are making it automated so the value comes here and this will move the servo to that right angle for example currently it's at the 30 degrees and then we will print the value of 30 that is uh, executed by uh, servo. We are also printing it. And job of this line is to print new line LN. That's new line. And then we wait 15 milliseconds. And then the loop continues like that. That's why you see the screen is going very fast. But if you want to slow it down, so you can make it 200 milliseconds. As you can see now it goes one fifth of a second so now it's already moving except this bar uh, scroll bar you will not notice because the values are not changing but if i make some changes here you will read you will see the values and so this was the code here now i uh, so that's the maximum as you can see here it shows 180 you see we are we are seeing the delay here it jumps even though if i go fast you see some non-smoothness but if you want to make it smooth just think, uh, decrease this uh, value, make this 50 or 10 or whatever, some smaller value, it will be responding faster. Thank you for watching. So this was how you use the servo with a potentiometer to control it. Uh, please make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. And also if you have comment or question, please post it at the description below. I'll try to answer and reply. Take care.